Today I'm honored to receive, and this was an honor that I didn't know about till very recently, the endorsement, because it's very hard for them to do this, you know? It's very hard for them to do this. But the endorsement of the official union of the Border Patrol agents, the entire union is endorsing them. It's a great honor. They said it was unanimous, thousands of people. Thank you. And they have thousands of people. They said it was unanimous. And I'm, I will say, I have the endorsement of almost every single law enforcement group, sheriffs and police, the fraternal order, 400,000. And it's hard for them to do endorsements. You know, it's not an easy thing to do, but there comes a point when you have really no choice. I'd like to thank the former president of the National Border Patrol, a friend of mine, Council Brandon. It's an incredible council, actually. Brandon Judd, who's here someplace. Brandon. Thank you, Brandon. And I'd like to formally introduce the new president of the council, another friend. They become friends of yours. It's like you're in a war together. When I was here, when I was running things, that border was a big deal to me. We wouldn't let people in. We, we had a year, would be 2019, where they said zero, and I think they were wrong on this, to be honest. They said zero terrorists came in, zero. The following year, they said 11. Now they have thousands of terrorists pouring into our country. These are stone-cold, hardened terrorists. Bad things are going to happen. We're going to get them the hell out of here before they do, I'll tell you. But the new president of the council, another great friend of mine, is Paul Perez. And he joined, uh, joined by a very highly respected man, Art Del Cueto. Art Del Cueto, vice president. And maybe we could ask them to come on up. We're also joined very proudly today by a large delegation of our nation's frontline border agents. These are incredible people. So let's show our appreciation for their unbelievable service to our country. America, I have a message for you. If we allow Borders R. Harris to win this election, every city, every community in this great country is going to go to hell. The untold millions of people, unvetted, who she has allowed into this country that are committing murders, rapes, robberies, burglaries, and every other crime will continue to put our country in peril. Only one man can fix that. And that is Donald J. Trump. He has always stood with the men and women who protect this border, who put their lives on the line for the country, a man who knows about putting his life on the line for what is right. This November, we have a choice to make. Continue the chaos, allow the criminal cartels to control the border, to allow drugs and fentanyl across our country or put an end to it once and for all. On behalf of the 16,000 men and women represented by the National Border Patrol Council, we strongly support and endorse Donald J. Trump for President of the United States.
to tell you, I was a little worried. He got up, he had no notes. He didn't have a teleprompter. I can understand that. I don't use it too much either. And it is nice to have people that don't need teleprompters, isn't it? But he got up here, and he had no notes, no, and he, you gave a perfect deal. I think we're going to all have to go back inside. That was a good job. Did he do a good job? Look at all these Border Patrol. Border Patrol and ICE. They're great heroes. And I want to let you know, Paul, I want to just tell you, and everybody, all my friends, I have so many of them in this group. It's an incredible group of people. I will always stand with the incredible men and women of Border Patrol. And today, I'm announcing a plan to address the shortage. You know, we have a tremendous shortage because they haven't been treated right. They want to do their jobs. You know, they consider it bad treatment when you're not allowed to do your job, and that's the biggest problem. They don't want people running in front of them. They want to stop them from coming in, and that's going to save a lot of people, including the people they're stopping. But to address the shortage of Border Patrol agents caused by the catastrophic failures of Kamala, our great border czar, who's the worst in history. We have a tremendous morale crisis because of her and her policies. I mean, think of it. Not one of the leaders, you have all the leaders up here, you have all the leaders in the room, you have Brandon right over there, who's a leader for a long time, brilliantly the leader, never got a call from them. Not Biden, he was sleeping, and not her. No, not her, she never called. Never once. I saw this. I didn't ever ask them. I saw this, and a reporter asked, Paul, have you ever been called? No, I haven't. How can you do that? Most important thing, it's the fabric and lifeblood of our country, and they're destroying our country, and they never even, and these are the people in charge. So there's a big morale problem, and she ruined the jobs of a lot of these border agents. They went after people, remember? with the horses. Do you remember that? Do you remember? That was a terrible thing. It turned out that they were totally wrong, but they went after a lot of other people, very innocent people. They go after those people, but they don't go after the criminals that are coming in to kill. They don't go after them. So in order to meet the goal of hiring 10,000 new agents, we need the agents. We have to — we need them badly. And keeping our incredible veteran agents on the force. Don't leave us! Raise your right hand. You're not going to leave. You're not going to leave. Don't leave us, fellas. I don't have to worry about them. They're, <laughs> they're very committed people. If we paid them nothing, they're not leaving. They want to save our country. They're going to save our country. But after I win, I will be asking Congress immediately to approve a 10 percent raise. I haven't had one in a long time for all agents. And a $10,000 each retention and signing bonus. So we're going to re we're going to retain them. We're going to retain them. It's almost like being a great baseball player or football player, but not quite as much money, but not bad, right? <laughs> now we're going to retain them, and they deserve it. They've been treated unbelievably badly, and the fact that they continue. And you don't hear they're going out on strike. They're going to do this. They don't do that. They would never do it. They're just incredible people. This will ensure that we can hire and keep the Border Patrol agents that we need to keep. And we can also uh, bring in a lot of new ones, really great ones. And we're going, to be, we're going to have our choice. I think we're going to have our choice. There's going to be a whole new spirit. This is a group that really needs spirit because they're protecting us. They're protecting our lives. They're protecting our country. So uh, we're going to be doing that.